Welcome, everybody, to RimWorld. Yesterday, we had a pretty awesome raid, which gave us a lot of really, really great gear in regards to things like, uh, well, obviously, marine outfits. We got some of those really crazy high-tech guns that we need to see how those work. More importantly, it was just it was just really great in terms of bringing in some extra resource into the base, say things like steel after we've smelted it all down. So I'm looking forward to getting that done today. We had a bold goods trader turn up while I was setting up recording here. And also along with that, we had, uh, what was the other thing that happened here? Something important happened? Oh, oh, our settlement upgraded to a town. Um, apparently it doesn't show up in the messages thing, but that did go up to a, uh, a, a full-blown colony level two there. So I guess we get more workers now. Oh yeah, look, we've got a few more workers. Holy shit. More profit if you place 2,308 gold. That's absolutely insane. What do we need to upgrade for the next level? Um, so that will then increase the soft cap by another three workers. So I guess overall, max work account before the cost of the workers begins to rise. Um, so I guess that will actually save us a little bit of money even if we don't want to invest into more workers, for example. More importantly, military level also increases by one. That sounds like it could be a worthwhile thing to save up for. Especially when one tax will pay for... I mean, uh, two-thirds of the actual upgrade cost of the town itself. So take a look at that in a minute. Um, the other thing, yesterday, people pointed out that I picked up the wrong prisoner. So we, we obviously got Eugene there, who was, he was pretty decent. He had some pretty, obviously, fast learner and nimble, both being very, very good traits. I accidentally picked up Dahlia, or, or Dahlia, rather than um, the other person who was good. However, I was thinking we could keep her around as an organ donor, bearing in mind that, you know, what is it, like, minus... Minus 10 or something like that? Oh, she's got a neuro calculator. Whoa. So we could remove that. Hang on. Uh, holy shit, we actually can. Oh, accidentally big brain play. So we might have lost the other guy, but we gained a neuro calculator instead that gives 20% research speed with no negatives. Really? Normally, it's like, uh, obviously, for, for most brain implants, it, it will affect things like consciousness, for example. Um, wow, that's really good. Holy shit, we accidentally lucked out there and got a really good implant. And this guy had... Oh, this guy wasn't the one with the combat... Uh, whatever the combat booster was that we had for the other person we were trying to kidnap. But we can keep around as an organ donor. Because as I recall, uh, one of our characters is missing a kidney, right? Um, who was that? Uh, right ear destroyed. Right kidney destroyed, right? So Helotos needs a fresh kidney. Um, child got shot in the leg with a gauze rifle. That's so good. Um, you need a new eye. Three out of 13. So that's not ideal. So if we can get a new eye and a new kidney from our prisoner to be honest it's worth the negative mood and you've also got to bear in mind despite the fact everyone's beaten up and injured here they're all in incredibly good moods as well you know green blues to the deep greens as well they're all the highest levels of of mood we could possibly have i think we'll we'll remove that to start off with that as i recall doesn't affect happiness does it if you remove bionics from prisoners only if you start taking their organs which i absolutely plan on doing here um do we need to take a specific kidney or do they just come out as kidney you know, do we have to take the left kidney to give him the left kidney? Just to be sure, I'll do it anyway. Um, so we do need a right kidney from you, if you don't mind. And then the other thing we wanted was an eye. I assume, again, the eyes are the same, but I'm going to be careful. You don't know if any of... Some of the mods might change it as well, or something weird like that. So, who was it who needed the other eye? Um, oh, we've also got the mutant eyes, don't forget. Mutant eyes do give a bit more psychic sensitivity, but they do give a bonus to sight. Um, oh, and a bit more toxic sensitivity as well. Um, to be honest, we could just install a mutant eye instead. Save, we, d we don't want to stack up too many of these negatives, especially for a body part that we've already got. Sure, it does come with some negatives, like the psychic sensitivity, but it's it's that or we upset people. Sorry, who was it with the eye? It was a scar on it. Um, you also need a new ear. We, we could always take off an ear as well. There we go, so it's Sharamus is missing a right eye. A lot of people were asking yesterday why I didn't have Sharamus on the front line fighting them rather than the tiny children. Simple answer to that is, we've got two tiny children. If one dies, we've got a spare. If Sharamus dies... We don't have another super mega mega orc ready for our cybernetic orc project. Plus, Delta's pregnant again, so we're going to replace these in no time whatsoever. To be honest, I, d I just forgot. Um, but that's all right. We'll, I'll, I'll make sure I get them on the front line, especially now that we've got our marine armor as well. I was thinking, to be honest, we should really give Sharamus the best armor here. What does the moonlight do? Oh, minimum, maximum, comfortable temperature. That's pretty good. And plus 50 max hit points. That's bearing in mind to the armor itself. Um, what other options have we got here? So we got two different types of the full-blown... Oh, shit, sorry, it's steel plate armor there. Um, so we've got one regular marine armor, or we've got one exotic marine armor. That just gives a slight bonus to research speed, but that's it. Um, what are the defensive bonuses between plate armor and marine armor? I assume marine armor gives the, the same level of... Uh, I, I honestly always assume that marine armor gave a, a stronger 
defense than plate armor, but I'll just go ahead and compare them very quickly. I'll take a screenshot of that. Oh yeah, yeah, the the power armor outclassed it in every way. Again, I thought that was the case. Like like the 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 bonus to plate armor is obviously you can build it much earlier on. And he only uses, say, steel, for example, rather than advanced components, whatever else you use for these. Let's go ahead and give Sharamus, then, the armor that will make him into a melee character worth keeping on the front lines. We've also got the shield belt there, too. Let's make sure he's got that equipped. Um, and then we've got a full-blown marine helmet there for him as well. Holy shit. And we've got a load of recon armor, which I'll dish out to everybody as and when. I don't know. Who should we... We'll, we'll probably have to prioritize who we want to defend the most. So Rose, as our doctor, I think, definitely deserves a set of recon armor. Uh, what's it to backup researcher? He's not so essential. Um, maybe Pork? Pork, given that he's got 17.3 on construction. Yeah, I think I'm going to give Pork and Rose the couple of sets of um, recon armor that we've picked up. Then we'll finish things off by giving Sharamus the pain stick as well. That's so good. And then we'll go ahead and have that as a secondary. So Sharamus, to be honest, is, is going to lay down some serious, some serious pain. We've got a, a, a first start of the uh, the, the first part of the Cyberwalk project there. Going pretty decently, I think. Oh, we already had a shield belt. Oh, we got a spare one. Cool. Um, yeah, the, the pain stick is obviously insane. That plus his marine armor. This guy's going to lay down some, some serious damage. We do have another set. Oh, wow. Yeah, of course, we have another set of marine armor too. Um, that might be good for someone like Watsit, who spends all day just sitting at a research bench, because obviously they affect movement speed. Or alternatively, this is where we want to use some more of our mechanized armor racks. Now, we obviously don't have access to those yet, because we have no steel still. Any steel that we do get will be going straight into the deep drills. So maybe we'll just equip them for the time being, except that we're going to have slightly less movement speed until we can get those mechanized racks back. I think that's, I think that's all right. Um, so what's it? You can wear the exotic marine armor um, just to help out with that one. And that also obviously gives a bonus to research speed as well. So we're kind of killing two birds with one stone there. And then the recon armor. What are the bonuses on these then? Xenotech advanced recon armor. Look at that thing. Wow. 30% psychic sensitivity, plus 15% mental break threshold. Oh, that's really good. Um, minus 15% immune to gain speed, so she is slightly more slightly more vulnerable to diseases, um, but slightly less vulnerable to mental breaks, and, and psychic sensitivity as well, 30% of that one. 85% global learning factor. That's not such a big deal for a doctor, um, especially when she's already a decent doctor as well. Sure, she can have that one. And then let's also, I'll have to make sure if she gets a disease or whatever to, to chuck the armor on the floor. And then we've also got this one as well. Um... What does that give? 75% armor versus heat. Wow. 75% armor versus heat. That doubles the value. Wow, that's insane. Now bear in mind with that as well, we are having to sacrifice, if we equip them with the armor, the uh, overalls. That's not such a bad thing. That just affects plant harvest yield and plant work speed, which of course Rose was was doing, but isn't so essential as one as our good plant workers, say for example. It is a downside, but it's not something I'm really going to lose too much sleep over. Pork. I'm sorry to say we're going to drop the maid uniform, and instead we are going to give you some recon armor. Uh, so he's going to lose his... It, it is just the maid dress, right, that he loses there. Um, what does that do? Oh, that gave 10% work speed bonus. I think at the stage of the game we're at right now, given that we've got the Empire raiding us and the Blue Moon Corporation obviously turned up last time with their ver really powerful advanced weaponry and, uh, and all the other crazy stuff, they have the marine armor as well. It is worth it at this stage of the game, I think, to uh, sacrifice a little bit of work speed for slightly higher defenses. Though we haven't had anyone yet injured to the extent that we would have to worry about that, I, I do think it's probably best to be taking precautions like this. So we have another set of recon armor there available that I think I was going to give to... Oh, we've got everyone equipped that I wanted to get equipped. I didn't realize we had a spare set. I mean, Halitos could take that. Seeing as he's constantly under attack by various animals as well, obviously, with the... Um... We've had many, many problems with the Tetra Slugs. The, the Sky Eels obviously has to give him a heart attack. Maybe a little bit of recon armor for you wouldn't hurt. And I think as a final port of call, we'll build some tall shells here. I know it's using a tiny little bit of shield here. Uh, to uh, steal. I meant to say not shield. I was looking at the shields thinking, let's store all of the apparel on these shelves then. Otherwise, we're, we, we're completely out of space in this stockpile at this point. So let's go ahead and just get everybody to haul those ur urgently as well, just in case something else drops. Now that's all said and done, and we've got our people decently equipped. There's no other marine helmets, are there? Um, not that I can see, although there might be some on the shelf, so I'll double-check that in a second. I want to get Delta very quickly to go ahead and trade with the bulk goods trader, because we might be able to just sell a shitload of this stuff. Minus 100 from that one, wow. We did get the kidney, though, that's important. And we got the neurocalculator. What are their opinions on that? It's only a minus 5. Yeah, I thought that was the case. Okay, I did notice they are also apparently sleeping in the cold, so we can go ahead and put the... Put the heating back on now, uh, especially that we've dealt with our power issues. The five solar panels have definitely more than dealt with that. Okay, so we have a load of Yorkshire Terriers, a load of Labradors. Not too interested in that one, I'll be honest with you, Chief. Uh, have they got any useful animals? 
No, they don't. Look at that goat army. Wow. All from all from King Goat and his Queen Goat Doe 2. We've got an entire goat army coming out of that. Um, wow. Uh, we could sell them a lot of corn again. And, and I think that's always worth doing whenever we get the option to because we're not going to use 5,000 corn, especially when we've got so much more corn on the way. Um, royal Thrummer Milk. My God, that stuff's expensive. Wow. Next time we see some Royal Thrummers, we've got to drop everything to try and tame them because they seem like a complete cash cow or cash thrumbo, I guess, in this case. Um, what have we got for me? Let's sell off these spare little sort of crappy leathers that are just taking up room in our stockpile that we're never going to use. We'll keep the cloth because obviously we're growing more cloth anyway. Um, Sandline fur. Don't really want that one either if you don't mind. They've got a little bit of medicine. Probably couldn't hurt seeing as we are completely out. I know we can craft our own soon. I don't know if you finished the research for that. Oh, do they have any steel? Uh, they do. 600 and, oh, 671. Right, that's fantastic. That's great news. Um, along with that... I want to be able to sell... Oh, God. Look at all this crap we can sell here. Let me just quickly go through all the clothes then and dump all of this stuff. From stripping all of those prisons, look at this. Things like the Hyperweave Beret, the Devil's Strand Hood, the Mammoth Wool Hub, which, of course, we would have never been able to craft. We're making thousands. This is an absurd amount of... of and we'll keep the plate armor just to smelt down. That, I think, is definitely worthwhile. They can't afford all of this crap that we've stripped from people. They really can't. Holy shit. Wow. This is a great position to be in. Don't get me wrong. Um... We're going to have to buy things from them. Even if we just buy Plasteel or, or something like that that will eventually become useful. Advanced components, that's a great idea. Um, regular components, probably couldn't hurt to have a few more of those. Let's go ahead and stockpile on what we need. More importantly, we're just trading all of that. That last raid has genuinely been a complete game changer. Medicine. Medicine definitely wouldn't go amiss. Um, now, I know I could obviously keep this stuff and wait for another trader to turn up, but it's already rammed our stockpile full. And we're never going to not need medicine or components or anything like that. Let's buy a few more raw resources then. Um, let's buy a few more, what do you think, like plasteel? Uh, ooh, that's a bit expensive, wow. Um, do they have anything, do they have any sort of implants that are useful? No, unfortunately not. Um, do they have any weapons that could come in handy? No, absolutely not. All right then, I guess we'll stick with that. Uh, I just need to adjust things, maybe buy a few more components or something like that to the extent them. Oh, we could sell them less corn. Um, let's go for like 2200 corn. Just so that we can take all of their silver whilst being able to empty our stockpile. That's fine. We're going to get raided quite frequently now. And if every raid's going to bring 3,000 silver, honestly, bring it on. I don't know why we've got a load of chunks just kicking around. Even that didn't completely empty our stockpile. Holy shit. So I've got the two little ones here, Pain and Loathing, working on just nothing but smelting at this point. So I've set up very specialized builds on these as well. Um, so we've got weapons, but uh, only particular melee weapons, only particular range weapons. Obviously, no blade link because they're worth a fortune to be smelted down. Um, apparel, sort of same story here. So this is any that is... Um, was this one supposed to be any that's tainted or something like that? Oh, apparently I'm just smelting down absolutely everything. Oh, no, 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 hang on. That's everything that is tattered. Got it. And then this one is everything that isn't clean. Now, of course, the downside to that is we've got the washing machine. So maybe I should set this one up to not smelt down the important stuff. Maybe we should just... Actually, maybe I should just suspend this. We could just wash the gear and then... I'm going to suspend that one because we can just wash it through the washing machine. I don't know how long that will take because I've no experience with those before. Um, obviously, I'm a YouTuber. I have a butler to do it for me. Smelt metal from slag. That one is unlimited. And then we've got smelt apparel. Um, that one, again, is is uh, things like the, the, the plate armor, but just the plate armor. And that's no restrictions on that. So tainted, untainted, tattered, untattered. Just get rid of the plate armor. We're a lot past that. I mean, now that we've got marine armor, as we found out, that's obviously much, much better. Did I even build a washing machine? Okay. Forget I said anything. I didn't even build one. Well, we've got enough steel now to see that through. But, of course, I'm going to save that for the deep drilling of the ground penetrating scanner, which hopefully will have finished before the end of today. Um, oh, half the cost to settle, you say, as we just get in... A 3,000 silver. All right. I feel like uh, now's a good time to set up settlement number two then. This is really just for posterity's sake as well. But I thought I'd point out that the the none of the sewage or uh, piping has to be in a particular order. Anything can be realistically connected up to anything. Like, for example, we've got the water treatment connected up to the grid via the sewage treatment. Uh, it doesn't matter. See, that still counts as treated safe. A lot of people seem confused that I've done it in the wrong order. You know, like you need to have the water tower going through the water treatment. It makes no difference. You can have the whole thing rooted through a toilet if you want, and it, the water will still count as uh, clean and treated. It, it's very flexible, which is something I honestly struggled with when we first played the, the hygiene mod. So another thing too, we are getting the quests from other settlements, but a lot of them tend to be complete garbage. Like deliver 12 hats to our settlement on the other side of the planet. We did get this one though quite recently. Um, Fagella, Lord of the Nebo Empire, is making a request. A mechanoid swarm has been attacking the settlements. We could take these guys on. 
Climate Adjuster, Counter and Activator, Bullet Shield. Oh, they got a Mortar Shield. That sucks. Mech Drop Beacon, two capsules, one Mech Assembler. To be honest, the only things we'd have to really worry about there are the... Like the two... The one Mech Assembler, the two Mech Capsule, and one Drop Beacon. So we'd have to deal with, obviously, quite a big wave when we started the attack. And then one Mech Assembler actually isn't too bad. Even if that's Centipedes, we've obviously dealt with that long before we got the technology we have access to now so that should be relatively easy the climate adjuster i also don't think it's too much of a big deal seeing as we're already into fall like we're running out of growing time anyway in fact i'm not even sure oh growing season is still on but not for long oh it ends literally today so i don't care too much about the climate adjuster either um that might be worth doing let's make some emp shells just sort of preemptively i should have been making some anyway but we'll make some of those can we do it in bulk? Oh, yeah, there we go. Bulk loads of 15. That we've got five per five per mortar. And before I forget, let's spend some of this 3,800. Wow. So we can either upgrade our regular summon or we can just obviously start a new cheap one. Uh, to be honest, I like the mining settlements. I think they're, they're, they're doing really, really well for us. Uh, that one has a lower modifier, I guess, because it's in a rainforest. Um, 1.25 there. 1.25. Uh, so, the, yeah, the, the best one is definitely the temperate forest, isn't it? Um, what about the hills? The hills are identical. Oh, sorry, that's not hills. That's obviously mountain. It just looks like uh, looks like hills. Um, what about the hills then? So they have a what's that? One point. I mean, zero point one five difference in terms of uh, quarrying, but they do have a much much higher bonus to food production, which could come in valuable. I think we'll put down another one there then. Put down another one over there just for the additional... Because we know that this this settlement at this stage is an absolute cash cow. Like, it's bringing a ridiculous amount of gold. Oh, it's only 675 silver. Holy shit, so not only can we settle a new one, we can upgrade that to a level 3 settlement. Sure, let's do it then. Um, wait, you can settle more than one on a tile? Whoa, what? You have multiple colonies on a single tile? That isn't... Is that, is that right? I might also put one... I mean, what's the downside to putting one adjacent to our own? Can we do that? Cannot be directly adjacent. Okay, I thought that might be the case. We can put another one there, though. Boom. How about that? <laughs> that seems... Oh, right. Okay, so it's not the fact that you can settle another one on top for... Um, it's, it's not that you can settle another one on top for an additional price. It's, it goes up with every other settlement. That makes a lot more sense. Right, so we've got two more settlements coming in here. Do we still have enough silver left over? Um, when, when do they take the... Oh, right, there we go. Now they're taking silver. 2,300. So if we get another 700 silver, we can upgrade our original settlement as well. So, again, it was said in yesterday's comment section, not yesterday, but the day before, that we need, for every one tithe settlement we have, two tax settlement. So, one of these we can now use as a tithe settlement, assuming we can afford it, to be able to bring in a load of resources directly. Cut out the middleman, rather than getting silver from a settlement that we then use to trade with traders, we use the silver from the other settlements to support a tithe settlement that will just bring us the steel directly. That's a... Uh, that I like. That I think is a, a really cool feature. We'll see if we can set that up before the end of today as well. Next step, then, we've upset some of our colonists with our um, with our prisoner mutilation. Might as well get something out of it. So let's go ahead and give Halitos his new kidney. Um, can you extract ears and noses from prisoners as well? I mean, bear in mind, it is still a minor slide. It doesn't matter whether you take a snip of their ear or an entire spine. They're still going to be upset. Um, oh, right, in the neurocalculator as well. That could be worth worth installing so what can we grab from you jaw arms noses ears oh we can take everything from them huh ah oh, fantastic okay um in that case let's go over to um let's go over to halitos again and what was it what else was it you need you need a nose and a right ear i mean the question is do we want to take a minus 10 to be able to improve or, or completely rebuild our own colonists. Oh, I also should probably stop these kids. They've been smelting metal now for however long it's been since I set them to do that. Um, but I mean, it's looking a lot better. I will admit. Why are you not smelting like this stuff? I need to double check the uh, double check the bill there. Aha, there we go. Okay, I swapped it all around. Um, so we've got 626 steel right now. I'm interested in how much one of these will produce. Um, oh, it's actually quite significant. You see that? Holy shit, wow. Um, that's quite a lot of steel we're going to get from that. Because we had a, a, a huge amount of plate armor there too. Fantastic. One thing I also noticed, we've got the 200 Neutramine. So we should really put down a drug lab to be able to produce our own medicine now. Um, what are we looking at here? Drug, 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 drug lab, drug lab. Somewhere on this list. Goes to show how frequently I build drug labs. Wait, do we not even have it researched, you fool? Okay, well, we've got everything we need to produce medicine. Now all we need is the ability to uh, produce medicine. Drug production. Here we go. Right, yeah. Okay, that explains quite a lot. My bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, the, child, the child soldiers, the child workers are malnourished because we've uh, forced them to work for so long here. Go and get yourself some food and water then. All right, fine. 
Goddamn whingy children. Come on, everybody's expected to put in hard work as both their parents are like sleeping in bed eating these luxury lavish meals. Stalling kidney. I don't know if that's quite the right terminology there. Oh, nice. Deep drilling is finished too. And we got some cargo pods. What are they? Um, I, know, I mean, I know what cargo pods are. What is in them? 132 chocolate. Nice. Okay. Help up a little bit with moods. Not that we really have to worry about two moods besides the, the, the child slaves that essentially we've got going here. All right. Good luck. Okay, thank God for that. I was going to say, you're not getting another kidney. To be honest, this is like the best hospital we've ever built in Rim Mod. Um, actually, that's not true, because we haven't got the advanced vitals monitors or anything, but it can't get much better than this, realistically. Maximum comfort. We've got the maximum... Um, obviously, we've got... Going as far... I don't think we've ever had sterile walls, to be fair. Aha, there we go. The settlement menace has been formed. Nice work. Uh, and where's the other one as well? Goodness, well, that one's taken so much longer. Oh, 0 0.2 days. There we are. Cool. Right, so that's three settlements now we've got under our belt. I mean, the, the whole empire part of the series is really, really coming in quite nicely all of a sudden. Um, and how much was it we need to upgrade you again? It was 3,000, yeah? 3,000. Oh, Daily's gone berserk. That's our prisoner whose kidney we just stole. That's reasonable. Honestly, I think that's an absolutely fine human reaction to that. Um, fantastic. Okay, there's not much else I can really do with this one now. We've got the full buildings. We've got the full workers assigned. Um, obviously, unless we get the 3,000, that one is dealt with. So let's move on to you then. Um, so sign some workers, I guess. Total profit, we're looking at... Why is this one, then, pure profit? Because if you remember with the last settlement we established... Oh, because of the doctrines, the, um, the, the policies, of course. I was going to say, with the last settlement we established, remember, it, it got to a point where it was kind of a bell curve, where the, the halfway point was, was kind of the best profit, and anything past that started to start to drop off again. But no, in this case, all workers assigned is just pure profit there. Again, we'll go for the same sort of buildings that we went for for the last one, but I won't accidentally build the adult, um, the adult entertainment. It's kind of unnecessary given that. Um, so we want the migrant housing too was very good. Two max workers. Yep, that was it. So let's get that one down. Quarry, migrant workers. That should help boost it up quite a lot. And then what else do we get here? Um, the Adventurer's Guild. Okay, that was just for the pure tax. So we could have the Rimazon Warehouse plus the Adventurer's Guild. That's another 10% bonus to tax. Yeah, I, I I want these to be as, as sort of automatic as possible. I don't even want to risk the unrest, because right now, again, they are just a money printer for us. Speak of the devil, taxes have been built. Cool, okay. Uh, ooh, I like that. Uh, look at that. I mean, immediately, second this thing's been set up, we're making 3,000 just from that one. So all that money we just invested, we're getting back now in even more profit. And we've got another settlement about to be founded, too. It's a shame that other settlement wasn't built just before the... Uh, just before the bills came in. It's been stuck at 0 0.2 days for quite a while. Oh my god, I also forgot about these searchlights. So these things are really cool. These give a, a debuff to an enemy's health called Dazzled. Because you're literally blinding them with the spotlight. That gives them, I, I think, as I recall, it's minus 50% vision. It's very, very powerful for defending our own people. I might put down um, a couple of spotlights, to be honest, like there and there. Actually, no, it'd be better to have them in the areas where we don't have doors. That way, our people can still get out of there in an emergency. We'll put a couple of spotlights down there. Now, it's 110 steel apiece. But if it is true and they give minus 50%, that's minus 100% to sight. So their accuracy is going to be in the toilet. I don't know if they stack, though, in hindsight. Okay, let's build one because I'm not sure if they stack. And then up here, we'll build two because up here, it becomes obviously a lot more of an emergency if the enemy's got this close. Can we put one there? We can put one there and it covers the whole cobalt. So that's fantastic. We'll put one there and we'll put one there. And then we'll see if the site does double up and stack up. We'll put another one down here too. But obviously the the area that we have to attack back down here is, is a lot more limited. So we'll we'll test it up here first. Aha, there we are. Our 20 butt plugs are finished. Right, let's go ahead and see if that quest for menace pods. Um I could be persuaded, because not only better than not only is this gonna be relatively easy, I think, but it will it does come with the benefit of having a load more steel brought into our base, too. One climate just one count and activate. So what are we fighting? Realistically, we're fighting the two capsules and the drop beacon. There's no also mortars in this as well. So there's no onus on us going out and actually hunting them down. All right, let's do it. I, 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 think, I think this is a worthwhile play. So before we do that, then let's go through these new weapons that we picked up and get our people equipped. Delta, you need a better weapon than... Oh, wait, biocoded lance. You can't equip a biocoded lance, can you? Equipping biocoded charge lance. Okay, maybe you can. I, I thought that was the whole point of it being biocoded. Uh, you can't use it because it's biocoded. That's just not drafted. Uh, excuse me. Bi biocoded charge lance that she can use. What? <laughs> I thought that's not how they were supposed to work. Um, as it leaves the acceleration level, the 
Oh, how weird. What does that mean then? Biocoding to Rebecca Farmer. This item is being... Oh my god, I wonder if the weapon lockers, because you can equip directly from the locker. I wonder if that allows you to bypass biocoding. That's obviously not how it's supposed to work, but I'm not gonna complain. That's fine. That's, look, that's that's uh, obviously a, a massive accident. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, it's a nice little bonus. It's a nice little bonus. So we've also got the Gorse Lance and the Glitter Tech Rifle here. Um, well, let's give some smooth ups, you need a better weapon. So you come ahead and uh, you take the... You take the Gorse Lance because you've got the higher shooting skill. That means that obviously one hit from that is, is going to be devastating, especially in the hands of a good shooter. And then, oh, the child has a drug problem. 14 years of age. It's obsessed with ambrosia unbelievable um and then let's also get pain re-equipped the laser gun i can't speak for how good the laser gun is i'm not sure if it is any good to be honest with you but i'm gonna swap it out just because i think an automatic weapon might be better um although a laser gun against mechanoids um i'm not sure it does fire damage though does it not it, it does burn damage which of course against a mechanoid is not going to be particularly helpful I think that's an okay lineup in terms of the weapons we've got. Right, what's where it's going again? All oh, right, the heavy machine gun. Um, yeah, that, that's a much better looking lineup than what we had previously. And what, what has Lothian got as a primary weapon? He's got the charged shotgun. Yeah, everyone's got a pretty good weapon now, and I'm kind of happy calling in the mechanoids. Let's do it. Choose rewards for that. What, what have we got the option for? Um, except goodwill or except royal... F obviously, we don't care about the empire. Um, oh, this is the empire. Bollocks. I don't want to help out the empire. Fuck him. Um, I don't want either. Get out of here. <laughs> Can we actually accept a quest and get nothing for it besides the steal from the... Yeah, I don't want anything. Get out Get out of here. Just just send me your mechanoids so I can fight them. All right, where are they dropping then? Uh, all the way down there. That's that's good news. That's fine by me. Okay. Wow, that's um, that's a weird base layout, but kind of cool. Right, let's get all of our people and all of our animals to the emergency animal zone. Actually, no. Well, let's just have them all restricted to animals, because that's all within our base anyway. Uh, and then we'll take um, our people and also get those guys locked into the anti mechanoid And I'll readjust the anti mechanoid area to uh, sort of represent this new cluster. Over here is relatively safe, I think. We'll have to avoid their maximum range, though. Giving them maybe a much wider berth than is necessary, but it can't hurt to be safe, right? And uh, just make sure that everybody is... Yeah, we're good. Okay, then. Um, I'm gonna let them all have a good night's sleep, and then the first thing tomorrow morning, we will go ahead and deal with... We'll go ahead and deal with these mechanoids. Uh, I'd love to get those spotlights built first, though, just to see if they'll even affect mechanoids. But more importantly, it's a good way to also test if the Double Dazzle works. Oh, man, an orbital factory. When are those taxes due in? Um, events. Uh, taxes, taxes, taxes. 0 0.6 days. I hope they're still around this time tomorrow. Because that means that we could trade. Uh, the Orbital Factory, bear in mind, they don't have any raw resources like the steel that we desperately need. But they have the end product and they have it very, very cheap because they're a factory. So this might be a good way to very much save a lot of time on crafting. But I, I not, obviously, normally, it's better to buy the steel and craft your own components, for example. But it, with this case, it's not always true, especially with a good negotiator. These guys sell it for so cheap. We'll test their prices in a second because, uh, of course, we do have a 1,000 silver to mess around with. I'll let everyone have a good night's sleep first, given that we're about to fight a gigantic mechanoid swarm. All right, spotlights are finished. Let's get our best, um, let's get our best shooters, because, of course, again, mortars are still determined by shooting here. So that is going to be Delta, Upsa, and I assume, uh, Halitos had 16, right? Um, Smooth Octopus 15.9. So we got Delta, Upsa, and Smooth Octopus. Okay, fair enough. So let's get these guys on the mortars. Delta, Upsa, and Smooth Octopus. Central mortar only fires the MP shells, and then the others can fire high explosives. The reason we're doing that is obviously so that we can knock down the shield, wake them all up. When those guys are ready to go, we'll draft everyone else, get them into defensive positions with the spotlights. Also, hopefully, providing a good amount of defense there. All right, team. Let's see what we've got. So you've got the MP shell. So you two need to... Let's, let's set everyone to hold fire. Then, after the steel mortar's gone, we'll let the other two fire after that. Okay, so we're good. Let's go ahead and set force target over on, I guess, anywhere. Where is the mortar shield specifically? It's right there, right? Um, that's a bullet shield. Where's the mortar shield? Oh, this one here. Let's try and take out the mortar shield first and foremost. If we get both of the other guys firing both on the mortar shield, chances are, even if they're massively inaccurate, they're going to destroy something just from how sort of centralized this, this cluster is. Let's go ahead and set force target on there then. Let that one go first. 
All right, you may fire, fire one ready. Okay, here we go. And then these two, we'll let it get a little bit more to it. There we go. And then these two, let's unsick hold fire and set the force target of you guys on the shield. Okay. Good luck. Now, I, I probably should really preemptively draft everyone else up as well. Let's see how it goes. Okay, there goes the MP. That's going to knock out the shield regardless of where it lands. There go our mortar shells. Very nice. Good shit, good shit. Okay. A bad miss there, but we did destroy... What did we destroy there? Was that one of their turrets? So what have we got to fight? That's the real question. Uh, we've got one centipede. We've got one side. We've got a pipeman. We've got a whatever the hell that thing is. A dagger snout. And this thing is assembling lances. Lances are arguably exactly what we want to fight. Look at the size of that monkey. Hello. Uh, and now we've got to see what the drop pod reinforcements bring. That is a another centipede. I was going to say, ah, oh, a single side, but that's not a problem. No, no, that is definitely a problem. So these guys should hopefully, if they've got the rhythm down, just be able to fire. Yeah, look at that. Okay, good. So that's going to fire another AMP. And then our guys are going to immediately follow it up with, again, a couple more more shells. The mechanoids aren't actually attacking yet, are they? No, they're not. Okay, shield's down. I think the shield was down anyway, unfortunately. Charging 17. Okay, there we go. Come on. Come on, hit them. Is that both shells away? Oh, did it come back online? What the hell happened there? Oh, I think it came back online? That's annoying. Oh, hang on. It's not online in the first place. Is that what charging means? Do they not instantly start enabled now? Oh, shit. Right. Oh, so the EMP staggering there that I've got set up is basically pointless. I had no idea that they didn't start... Oh, well, fuck. In that case, swap out two explosive rounds then. I had no idea they didn't start charged that must have, must have be something for a recent patch right well okay uh in that case give them hell give them hell let's see what we can destroy then look they're all clustered around here so even just a couple of showers in this zone that would be quite nice to see 16 hours yeah i think they are genuinely offline aren't they boom look at that ah oh, nice work good hit on the centipede honestly their accuracy definitely leaves a lot to be desired but it's definitely affected by the shooting given that they are gaining points in shooting here Look at this. Come on. Oh, the Orbital Factory left. My bad. I should have let those guys... Uh, should have gone and traded with them. But I think this is kind of higher priority. Before the more shield comes back up, then let's try and destroy that. No more reserve shells. That's it? Really? We didn't even destroy the... Oh, they didn't even destroy the assembler. You people are useless. You're absolutely useless. I'm so annoyed. Okay. Um, let's go craft some more shells then. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Very cool. What a waste of steel. Hang on a minute. I just double-checked. We do have mortar accuracy. The reason they're so inaccurate is because of the weather effects, which is a side effect of mortar accuracy. That explains quite a lot. Okay. Um, doesn't really matter because, of course, we had our best our best intellectual character on there. It still made no fucking difference. This time, then, let's not have Upsur and Delta. Let's have... Uh, sorry, let's have Delta, What's It, and who else is... If we've got anyone that's good at intelligence, we don't. We'll just have Delta and What's It do it instead, then. We could also wait for the rain to disappear, but given that... If we wait for the rain to disappear, obviously, we're losing the advantage of the mortar shield not being active. I think I want to press the advantage right now, even if they are going to be a bit more inaccurate. Okay, this time. <laughs> this time I have full faith. Go for it. Two of our best intellectual characters on it. This mortar shield, you're done for. Kill it, kill it dead. They actually did it. They actually did it. Okay. Excellent work. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have thought that all we had to do was pay attention to what mods we have installed? Well, let's try and hit that thing next. Then we'll deal with the climate adjuster. It's only a minus 10. It's the winter anyway, so I'm not too bothered about that one. Right, let's take this thing down before it assembles a lancer, preferably team, if you don't mind. Then we'll go for that one. Go oh, hit the centipedes. That's also fine with me. Holy shit, this is a game changer. I didn't even think we had mortar accuracy enabled, but apparently so. Right, let's go ahead and set you guys now to force target on the climate adjuster. Then we've just got to deal with these mechanoids when it becomes convenient. So this thing's got a hell of a lot of hit points, hasn't it? Even if we're deadly accurate, we still need another... We still need another five mortar shells. Good God. Three more. I don't think we've got three more shells. No, we don't. These are our last two. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. We'll have to get Delta to craft it. We need just one more shell. That's really, really sad. Unless maybe... Oh, or missed entirely. I was going to say maybe we could hit that and the explosion might also take that out. Well, we uh, tended up the centipedes a little bit. Certainly nothing that's going to... Make much of a difference to the fight. You know, it's not like they're half dead or anything like that. That's a great start, though. And, more importantly, we didn't kill a single elephant. Let's install the neurocalculator as well before I forget into what's it that we stripped from our blue moon friend down there. Does anyone else need anything desperately? Because the other... The other negative for halving... Oh, wait, it's still there? Whoa, they last way longer than I thought. I don't know why. I only thought they lasted two days. Um, 
Well, if we're gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go ahead and do the ears and eyes in that case. That's, that's way too much. 5.5 days for that. That would take a hell of a long time to get over that. Might that be like minus 15 for the best part of a week. I'm not interested in that. Or not. Or maybe we should have murdered all those goddamn elephants for fuck's sake, really. Um, they'll fight the mechanoids. Oh my god, blessing in disguise. Okay. Um, holy fuck, that's insane. I had no idea they would do that. They're wiping out the mechanoids. I don't think they'll take out any centipedes, but that's fantastic. One of them self-tamed as well. Oh, no. Poor elephant one. I'm so sorry. We're in the middle of this absolute war zone. Well, not, not exactly in the middle of it. They might even take out a centipede for us as well. I can't believe that. That's, that's absolutely insane. Um, Upsa has gained the trait blank. What have you gained? Tough. Oh, wow. Thick skin, dense flesh, and durable bones. It takes much less damage. 50% times damage multiplier. It would be sensible now to... Oh, that's cool. Um, it would be sensible now to get swap his recon armor out for, say, Smooth Octopus's flat jacket. Given that he's already, you know, difficult to kill. But he's one of our important characters. So we'll leave him in his, uh, we'll leave him in his powerful gear. Are the elephants going to take out a single centipede? Unfortunately not. But they have done some serious, serious damage to that. They're absolutely fantastic. So remember what I said our power issues are dealt with? Uh, no. No, they're really, really not. My god. What have we done that's got this so much of a power drain? Obviously, we built the nutrient paste dispenser and a couple of end tables, but... Wow, this is crazy. We've, we've dropped so much power again. Um, blocked by birch tree? Oh, uh, okay. That's a new that's a new birch tree. That's not a big deal. Um, I haven't blocked anything else, have I? We need, we need a more final power solution. This is ridiculous. This is insane. Um... What can we do in the reset? Because there's no point even going for grand penetrating scanners, given that we can't even run the damn thing still. Ah, uh, that's really frustrating. Uh, what about like um, we got like nuclear power. Hey, we do have nuclear power. Um, what do we need for that then? Compact fission reactor. That sounds like my type of thing. Um, for that we need. What do we need? Um, locked behind what? Will you tell me? Computer system. Okay. Um, so we need that first, but we don't have the powers to run even that one. Is there some- what's a good middle ground? There's got to be some sort of power generation between solar panels and nuclear fission. Um. That's a great question. What, though? Uh, I'm just going to type in power. Power management, geothermal power. Obviously, that'd be kind of nice. Um, cryogenic power. That's real endgame stuff. Uh. We could always use... We could always use some of our uh, nitroglycerin, our chem fuel, as more chem fuel generators. Probably couldn't hurt. Maybe or, or just build a load more solar generators. We just might have to might have to buy the bullet and just do it. Oh, and his surgery works as well. I mean, that was quite literally brain surgery, so I'm quite impressed by that one. Twenty percent bonus to research speed. Very nice. Okay, that's pretty decent. Um, if we got that on Upsa as well, that would oh, sorry Delta that would uh, seriously boost our our research. Okay, so that should be three more solar generators, all with enough resources to build them as well. Yeah, we actually do. Hopefully, that'll be enough just to keep us afloat here. It's during nighttime that we obviously have the issue because we've got so much of our grid now dependent on solar. A couple more wind turbines probably couldn't hurt, but but putting them up here so there's a bit more variation in the actual wind currents themselves. Um, just put it over the top of the cotton farm, of which we don't have enough time to sow anyway. Oh, that explains why the cabbages are so slow because the yield is terrible compared to rice plants. It's just our cabbage. That makes a lot of sense. Um, I'll leave you green. It grows about anywhere. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, it produces uh, one, which I didn't notice. Multiply for difficulty savage times 95%. Maybe it could go up to Merciless, though. Because even playing on Savage Hildegard. Now, normally I play on Hildegard Savage anyway, rather than Merciless, compared to, obviously, the, you know, last time we played, uh, what was it, Merciless Cassandra. Just because Hildegard is supposedly going to send so many raids over to us, I'm feeling confident that's, uh, to go up to Merciless now. Normally, I don't when we play with Eldegard, but she seems... I mean, this is the only way raid we've had in a while, and that was one that we bought on ourselves. Sure, the Blue Moon raid was um, was a bit tricky, but now we've got the tech to be able to catch up with that. And the, the Empire raid was... Well, I think the less said about the Empire raid, the better. Should really probably stop the video now, huh? It's just occurred to me <laughs> how long I've actually been sat here playing the game. Thank you all for watching. We, we've achieved a pretty significant amount today. Unfortunately, still limited by power or steel but deep drilling is almost done we've got a load more of the solar generators more importantly with the two extra settlements now look at this profit we can turn up good god um and when those are done i mean that's going to be identical to the other one we're looking at almost what six thousand silver a day now in terms of profit that's absolutely nuts so we'll set up our tide that should deal with our steel issue and of course our steel issue will also directly deal with our 
power issues as well. Good work. I think I think it was pretty good all around. But let's see what Hildegard Merciless has in store for us tomorrow. Thank you to our insane top tier level patrons for making the channel possible in the first place. A big shout out goes out to Aromatic Fool, Derek Kane, Carter, Bellic Strongbow, Zazzy 7011, Noble S, Roll 2D Win Games, Huey Longdong, Tyler McClam, Tyler Kendall, Paul, Gwen S, Lucas, The Potato Eater, Artronks98, Scott, and everyone else at the insane tier levels for genuinely keeping the channel alive. Uh, during the next, well, what has been the past couple of months and during the next couple of months as well. Without you guys, we would definitely not be here, especially given recent YouTube changes that I'll probably do a video on because they seem fairly significant. Thank you as well to Mythomatic, Vanilla Gorilla, Meow Volcano, Don, Buen Gun, Gothamo, Harry Soft, Foosh, Fat Joe is a toe, Smart One, Surthal the Swede, Scorched S, Jacob Wolfie, Kane GB, and everyone else at Patreon too. Same goes out to you guys. Thank you all for keeping the channel possible. It's much appreciated. See you all tomorrow for more reward.